Hello, my most amazing artists. Today we are going to be talking about Islamic art. Islam is a religion practiced by Muslim people, mainly in Upper Africa and the Middle East. However, people practice Islam right here in America as well. These are some Islamic mosques, or kind of like their churches. You can see that they are absolutely covered in tiles. So artists in ancient Islam created this wonderful tile work by hand. So they hand painted and created each one of these tiles on the outside of these buildings or mosques. In Islamic art, they would purposefully make a flaw or an error in their tiles. The reason is because in their belief, they believed that no one is perfect except for their God. Even if you are not religious or if you practice a different religion, I think that this is a really cool idea that it is okay to make mistakes because none of us are perfect and all of us are human and that is the beautiful thing about us. In Islamic art, there are three main components. Geometry, calligraphy or their handwriting which is in their language of Arabic and floral patterns. Artists would use symmetry, repetition of shapes, and patterns that reflect or showed the beauty of numbers, which were considered to be divine. So there's a really cool math connection here as well. We are going to focus on geometric shapes, or shapes with straighter edges, and organic shapes, or shapes that do not have straight edges. Here you can see the difference between geometric shapes and organic shapes. We are going to use a radial design. Think of radial symmetry like you're starting in the center and you're growing it out like a flower. We will be using geometric and or organic shapes. That means you could use one or the other or both. When we are creating our design, I want you to start in the corner. That way, when we flip it around as we print, we will be using radial symmetry. Start with your name on the paper. Then you're going to begin at the corner of your design. Then you can keep growing it out and out to reach the other corner. Notice how if I flipped this design, it would be the same all around. So I'm going to keep growing my design out using geometric or organic shapes, or if you'd like, you can use a bit of both. You are going to do a different design on each square. So don't try and repeat the same design because we are going to eventually cut one, just one, of these out to carve it onto a printing plate. So I want all four of your designs to be different. Then we are going to pick our favorite one to use for our print. If you need to use a ruler, for any geometric designs or designs with straight edges, you may absolutely do so. In fact, I recommend that you do. Next time in art, we are going to be cutting out our favorite of our four designs, and then we are going to use that as a guide to transfer that design onto our printing block and then we are going to be carving that design out so we'll put it on our printing block or our printing plate 
Then we are going to be working on carving it out with a pen. So what the pen's going to do is make an indent or like a bump where your design is. And those bumps are going to be the places that are not printed in black. So those lines that you're drawing with the pen is where your background color of your paper is going to show through. So you see here that I'm inking my plate and then I am lining it up with the edges of my paper. I'm rubbing the plate with a wooden spoon so that all the ink transfers to my page. And then I'm going to make sure that it is lined up each and every time. So we are going to end up printing the same design four times to create our radial symmetry or our radial design. That means it's going around from one center point. Remember to keep this in mind as you plan your designs. Maybe even envision what it might look like if you printed it four different times. What kinds of shapes would it make when those prints line up and meet? So again, as a reminder, Please start your designs in the corner so that you can grow them out from one center point, same all around, just like a flower. Then you are going to be thinking about what kinds of shapes you want to include in your design, geometric, organic, or both.